Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my country craft corner in my car. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> so good to see you guys again. I have to take a minute here to thank you guys. I don't think I've thanked you lately. I try to thank you all the time in my comments, but I don't think I've spoken the words lately. Now I'm gonna cry, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah. Anyway, <clears throat> you guys have touched my heart so many times. And you say the sweetest things to me in your comments. And you and y'all are just the kindest people, honestly. You know, I see so much negativity. As I say, I'm, I'm the admin in the Alaska uh, group, Princess Cruises, on Facebook. And, you know, most of the time that group is really nice because we, me and the other admin, we crack down and we say, no, no negativity in here. No negativity. We're just not going to put up with it. It's why? Why be negative? But anyway, I've already I've, I've gone down that road before. <laughs> I'm not going to go down that road again. Y'all know I get on my high horse when I start start talking about negativity and all of that stuff. So we're not going to talk about negativity. We're going to talk about talk about positivity today. I am so touched by all of you. <clears throat> my heart goes out to those of you who are struggling with some health issues and things coming up that may be a little bit scary and a little bit daunting. But you guys hang in there. You guys hang in there. I'm praying for you every day. I pray for y'all in, in kind of a, a group. <laughs> but there are some that I've picked out and, and prayed for specifically. And you know who you are probably. Uh, but my heart goes out to you. Also, to all of you guys, and for all of the sweet things that you've said about my dad, and, and have relayed your stories about the parents that you guys have lost, my heart goes out to you guys. I'll tell you, the hardest thing in my life was losing my mom. That was the hardest thing. Uh, you know, I, I think the only thing worse than losing a parent would be losing a child. And I know a couple of ladies in my life who have had to endure that loss. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I wouldn't even try. Because I know that the depth of those emotions is different and unsurpassed. <clears throat> for each individual person so I would never try to say I understand no nobody can really understand what we go through unless they've walked a day in our shoes no one can understand you know I'm so sorry about my voice <clears throat> I'm again suffering with it has been raining you wouldn't think I'd be suffering but I've been suffering with some post nasal drip I need to take my flow nase Phyllis <laughs> I haven't taken it in about a week and I need to take it today but anyway regardless of all that my heart goes out to you guys and know that I'm with you in spirit and that if you could just feel me sitting next to you giving you a soft hug then I would do that and just just an encouraging hug and a, and a, a gentle hug and one to to help you feel better one that would make you feel better whatever kind of hug you need, a tight hug a soft hug whatever hug I'd give you a hug <laughs> so but I wanted to take a minute to thank you <clears throat> because you guys mean a whole lot to me. Do y'all know I'm almost up to 2,500 subscribers? And I haven't done any giveaways or anything like that. That's not why I do YouTube. I'm not worried about how many. I mean, I love you guys, your, your, subs your subscribers, and I love it that I have that many just since last October. My goodness gracious, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm touched beyond words, truly. But I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily do things to 
grow my channel or anything like that. That's not why I started YouTube. I started YouTube to help people, to help those that may like to do a little crafting and to, you know, make a wreath or to do a centerpiece or to decorate a cozy corner, you know. That's why I started. I was encouraged. As For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, just speed on through this part. <laughs> but to my new subscribers, you guys might not realize <clears throat> that I am also a blogger. And I have a blog by the same name, Country Craft Corner. And you can usually find a link to my blog in the description of all my videos. But if not, it's just simply countrycraft.me. And there you'll find out more about me if you'd like to know more and more about my dogs and uh, uh, more about our travels. I also have another YouTube channel for those who are interested. It's called Our Lens Travels. Just put that into the YouTube search and I should come up. But I usually do have a link to that somewhere either within the video or in the description of all my videos. I try to put a little link up to that one. So I... We've done some cruises to Alaska and to Hawaii and to Canada and New England. And I've got three separate blog uh, series that cover that. But I truly did start my channel just to help. Simply to help people who might want to do some crafting and whatnot. And then I moved into these car chit chats. And these are fun for me. I love chit chat with you because I live way out in the middle of nowhere so it's nice to be able to chit chat with somebody even though it's y'all can't answer me back right here <laughs> I know you're listening or will eventually so I really appreciate it I can't believe I'm almost to 2,500 subscribers that just blows my mind blows my mind so I thank you humbly humbly thank you to all of my old subs my, my my very first subscribers <laughs> right up until the very last one that that subscribed thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart well, anyway I guess I should tell you where I'm off to today I am also a YouTube fan <laughs> of some people and Kim with my feathered nest had a, a, a Walmart blog, a haul yesterday that she did and she showed this pioneer woman pot or butter dish for one thing and i was like i have seen that in passing but i've never stopped to look at it and i fell in love with that butter dish the dish so kim i might be copying you there honey on that <laughs> on that butter dish shout out to kim you're awesome sweet girl you're awesome Kim is a lot younger than me, <laughs> but boy, she is really, really entertaining. Oh, so uppy. Go check her out, Kim, at My Feathered Nest. Go check her out. She's awesome. Love her. Love her attitude. Love her sweet nature. She's awesome. We really enjoy watching her, so go check her out. She's got a growing channel. She really does. She's doing really well. So bless your heart, Kim. You go, girl. <laughs> But I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart to check out these, this pottery, you know, or this, uh, these dishes that the Pioneer Woman has. So I don't know what I'll find, but I'm definitely going to at least look for that butter dish. And I looked online and it said they had a, one of those long runners here. I just was looking for a, not patriotic, it's, it's florally, but boy, it's pretty. So I'm going to look for that. And... Anyway, I'm not sure what else I'm going to get from Walmart, but I am going to look around in there and see what's what. <laughs> and then I might uh, take a quick trip over to Kirkland's and see if they don't have anything, excuse me, I'm switching lights here, anything patriotic over there. And if I have time, I'm not sure, I might run over to World Market and pick up that other placemat that I wanted. So, that's a little bit of errands. Chris is at his parents today, helping them out up there. So, I'm just kind of on my own for a little while yet. I, I uh, spent a little time this morning answering my comments and responding to your all's comments. <laughs> and working in the that Alaska, you know, Facebook group a little bit. And putting around the house and just trying to think about what I want to do. 
but I see that I'm already at about 10 or 11 minutes here so I'm going to hush up so that I can I do want to show you whatever what other uh, patriotic stuff that I have that I already had existing that I already owned so I did want to go through that stuff when I get home and do a little you know a little pre patriotic decor video so a little haul I guess you would call it it's not really a haul because I've already hauled it huh <laughs> already hauled it home but uh, I always like to try to give you guys a good idea of what I have to decorate. I won't be able to do that with my fall so much because I've got way too much. It would take us three videos just to go through all my fall stuff. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So, uh, but patriotic, I only have one bin and then another bin with just some pillows. So, Anyway, I'm going to hush now. I could just chat with y'all. Just have a video just chatting with y'all. But I think I do want to do that haul when I get home. So, I'm going to hush up. And I'll be back in a little while. Bye. Hey, everyone. I'm back from Walmart. And only Walmart. I never did get to Kirkland's. I never did get to World Market. <laughs> I've been in Walmart forever looking at this pioneer woman goodness I am telling you I love this stuff you guys I really do so I dropped a hundred dollars on this stuff today a hundred and eleven dollars and 85 cents <laughs> so uh, but I got a lot and it's going to help me do something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is to incorporate my green color the green color that I have in my uh, living room and dining room the color that I always highlight in there it will afford me the opportunity to maybe pull some of that color over into this part of the house which I've been wanting to do because I love that color and it's not your traditional traditional country uh, color so to speak it's more of a shabby chic kind of color and I am kind of a traditionalist in a lot of ways with my country decor with my burgundies and reds and golds and you know that kind of thing but what the pioneer woman stuff is teaching me is that you can incorporate that green color with reds and yellows and so on and so forth so I am quite thrilled that I found this. And thank you again to Kim at My Feathers, Feather Nest for pointing me in this direction. Not that you pointed me, but pointing everybody in, her, in the Pioneer Woman's direction. Where have I been that I haven't really noticed this stuff? Duh. Anyway, let me go through here. So I, today is just going to be me doing this haul from Walmart here. I'm not going to be doing my patriotic bin <laughs> That I have here at the house I'll wait to do that and after I'm gonna get this one up this evening I hope and then after this Stacy has finished her wreath Woohoo! so she told me she texted me while I was out and she said that should be getting should be coming to me this evening which means it'll probably come to you guys tomorrow at some point because I'm gonna do this one this evening anyway sorry about my lighting I keep I think I keep going in and out of it here but let's get to this haul so $111.85, like I said. I'm gonna start with a table runner. I got two of these table runners. There we go. And they're nice and long, 14 inches, which is two inches more narrow than the ones I got from World Market. But that's okay, that's fine. I, it'll be plenty wide by 72 inches long I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these out of here for you guys but this has a really cool looking back uh, backing to it so here is the table runner now how pretty is that it's got reds and yellows and purples and that pretty green color look right there and there and all kind of versions of that color that or hues of that color if you will so I don't know when I'm gonna use this because I'm doing patriotic you can do either the florally 
or you can do the red and white polka dotted. I just love it. So each one of these was $11.97, you guys, $12. You can't beat that. The 72 inch long, and I was just saying in, my, in yesterday's vlog that you just can't find 72 inch table runners. Well, duh, here you go, 72 inch table runners. And they have all kinds of different, where she does, her line has all kinds of different table runners in there at Walmart. Take a look at it next time you're in Walmart. I'll tell you, it is so pretty. So anyway, I got two of those. And I got me some tea towels. <laughs> four different tea towels, four different colors. And another thing with her stuff too, you can mix and match all of her stuff. I mean, it looks, you know, and they're, they're named different. Like she has, I'm gonna be showing you some patchwork placemats. And then the runners were called Country Garden. But I'm telling you, you can mix and match all of her stuff. And it it really go, blends together well. I, I'm just thrilled that I, oh my goodness, I'm just all excited, can you tell? <laughs> so these four, let me take these out of here. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. The four different, four different towels. That one. That came in one set, and the set was 1088. 1088 for four towels. And how pretty are these towels? And look at all the different colors, the greens and the reds and the yellows. Oh my. I love it that she's mixed all of these colors together. This is just, and it's beautiful, you guys, it's beautiful. So those four towels for 1088, and they're nice towels too. They're not just, they're not chintzy. They're really nice and they're pretty thick. You know, I think they'll work well. I am probably going to use them mostly to hang on my stove or on my oven door, but I'll probably put the, whatever two I picked, two or three I picked to put on the oven, I'll put the rest in my drawer and utilize them. But anyway, okay, so there we go. Four tea towels for $10. For eleven dollars, ten eighty-eight, and then I got me six placemats because you guys know me by now and know that when I put a runner on my kitchen island and maybe on the table, I want placemats to match so that I can pull that those colors into the family room. So I got six, and this is what I was talking about: six of these patchwork placemats and they're quilted they're nice these are nice and they were three forty seven a piece really three dollars and forty seven cents a piece check it out and this pattern is patchwork it's just it amazes me she's such a smart lady so you can see three out of the four of these towels match one of the patches, or very similarly, one of the patches in this placemat. And then the fourth towel could go with the paisley there. I just, I'm just thrilled with this stuff, you guys. I'm sorry. This is a, a decorator's dream to come, to find this, to, I just really love this stuff. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm being I'm being a little excited here, I know. But anyway, I got six of these. And so I'll pull, I've got three end tables over there. So three of them will go on end tables. One maybe on the hearth underneath the lantern decor and then one on that um, speaker, Chris's subwoofer. <laughs> I always like to put something on that. So again, I'm not sure when I'm going to use these. It's not going to be coming up because I'm going to be using my patriotic stuff. But I love this. All right, so I still have more, you guys. I still have more. All right, next I got this. Now, this pattern is called Flea Market. And I got three serving bowls. Oh, I'm going to take them apart for you so you can see. Oh wait, here we go. The small one is um, 
seven and seven seven point seven five inches by four inches so there we go and we're pulling in some oranges and some purples into that one medium sized is nine by four and three quarter inches look at that that's so pretty And then the large is 10 and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. It's a pretty good size bowl. It would hold mashed potatoes or some of my fruit salad or, oh my goodness, I can just think of a bunch of things that it could hold. And one more thing. It's a teapot and it's metal. I've been looking for a pretty teapot and check this out. Reds and yellows and purples and greens. And this will sit out on my stove. You know, I have my red salt and pepper shakers out there that always sit behind on my stove top or my cooktop. So this, ah, I love it. will sit out all the time and I've been making tea too as of late. So that, my friends, is that other than, and the only thing I got that was not Pioneer Woman were two little tea towels to hang here in the kitchen on my oven. Check out these fellas. Patriotic tea towels. <laughs> They're so cute. And they were 88 cents a piece. Absolutely thrilled. Just could not be more happy with what I found at Walmart in the Pioneer Woman line. I love it. Oh my goodness, I know I'm going to be buying more of it too. Not probably anytime soon. <laughs> kind, of, kind of spent my wad. That is it for today. I see Stacy's been texting me pictures, still pictures. I can't decide whether I want to put this one up or go ahead and get hers up because I think you guys will really love what she's done. I saw a picture, it is gorgeous. So if you're seeing me after you've seen her wreath, you'll know I decided to put her wreath up first and then save mine for tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I'll just say for now, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all your support again. And I hope everyone is having a great day despite the rain here on the East Coast. <laughs> and until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.